Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Mr. El Kamusi once again, and today we're going to be looking at active reading. So let's say you're introduced to a new text, and it's written in a simple language that you are able to understand. Great, all you have to do is read it, and you understand everything there is there. But imagine if it's not so easy to understand that text. You get something that you're introduced to that you've never seen before. There are strange words, the structure is unclear, you're not sure exactly what it's saying. What do you do? Active reading is one of the ways to approach a difficult text that you're struggling to understand. It helps you to gather the meaning from it through a number of simple strategies. And the fact is, there are a lot of texts that we can read for the first time and understand, but as time goes on, there are definitely going to be texts that we run into that we cannot understand reading for the first time. Active reading will help us to do that. But before we get into active reading, let's step aside for a minute and talk a little bit about the brain and how it processes information. So brain science has shown us that whenever the brain is introduced to new information, the first thing it tries to do is make connections to previous information that it has received. So anytime it gets something new, either it tries to remember it, and if it can't remember it, then it tries to make connections to things it's seen before. So one of the first things that the brain tries to do is remember. It'll look at something and try to say, where have I seen that before? And immediately, if it can, it will say, oh yeah, I remember what that is. So as you're looking at a brand new image, you may then recognize this one as The Simpsons. And that makes you laugh because you have a funny relationship or memory with The Simpsons. This is because the brain is constantly trying to process new information and sort it either in a memory or in a new idea or make a connection to previous information. Sometimes that information can come in the form of a light bulb, like, oh, I remember this. Sometimes, oh, what is that? Never seen that before. Or it may inspire an emotion in us. But whatever it does, the brain is trying to connect this new information to our previous knowledge. I'm going to flash a few images for you in just a moment, and what I'd like you to do is see what does your brain do when it sees this image. Ready? Go. For this one, your brain either probably did this, or it probably did this. Sorry, your brain reacted in fear. But what our brain is always doing is connecting information. And you may have noticed that no matter what the image is, it inspires some kind of a reaction in us. And that's because the brain is either remembering, recognizing, connecting, or confused. The same thing happens whenever we're introduced to a text. Our brain is doing the same thing. Every word it reads, every line it understands, it's either trying to make a memory of what we've read, a connection from the past of what we've gotten, or can do nothing else. It's just confused. It doesn't know what to do. Whatever the case is happening, as a reader, it's very important for you to recognize what is your brain doing with the text at hand. So, why am I explaining all this stuff about the brain? Well, a lot of people think that active reading strategies such, like, such as like talking to the text or uh, boxing and summarizing are extra work that we're doing while we're reading. But the fact is, they're things that your brain is doing already. All you're doing is writing them down. The brain is always engaging with the text. It's always reacting to the text. And just writing down what your brain is doing is enough for it to be uh, a form of note-taking and reading. That's why we call it active reading, because your brain is active whenever it reads something. So where did we get this idea of taking notes while you read? Well, this is what scholars and college students do anyway. There isn't any doctor student or medical student who sits down in front of a textbook and just reads it. They're taking notes all over the place. They're writing down what they read, they're rereading it, they're highlighting, they're underlining, and they're making notes. This is what scholars do in college, this is what professors do in universities, this is what great readers do. And thinking that just opening a book or reading a, an article without any further guidance is actually the opposite of what the experts are doing. So the only real question that active reading asks you to do is to answer this. What do you notice? You look at a text for the first time. What are some of the things that stand out to you right away? Is the text fiction or nonfiction? Does it contain long, drawn-out paragraphs or short bits of dialogue? How long is the text? 
What type of writing is it? What genre? What are the length of the paragraphs? These are some of the questions that can stand out to you right away. Never approach a text without a pen, pencil, or highlighter. Something to write with, something to take notes on. And as you're reading, see what you can notice at first about the text. Highlight or underline important words or important phrases, sentences that you think you want to remember, main ideas or big pictures of the text. Circle words that you don't know the meaning of, so that later you can look them up. It's very difficult to understand a text if you don't know what the words mean. Maybe there are parts of the text that you don't understand. Use question marks to help you remember which part of the text to reread or to ask about. Write notes in the margins to help you remember what the text is about. It's okay if you don't understand it the first time you read it. At first, you're just trying to see, what do I notice about this text when I first look at it? Make predictions about the text to see what it could possibly mean later on. You never know if your predictions are correct, and predictions are always helping us to understand what we're trying to read. Place stars next to really important concepts or main ideas, things that you want to remember or memorize, or in general, main points that you found interesting. Whatever you do, write on the text. It should have circling, underlining, highlighting all over the place. Because whether you realize it or not, that's what your brain is doing anytime it interacts with a text. Even if you're not writing it down, your brain is doing it. And to help better organize how you understand the text or how you walk away from it, it's best to do what your brain is doing. Help your brain understand it by doing what the brain is doing itself. So we'll be practicing active reading, and the best part of it, active reading is pretty much an open strategy. Whatever works for you, however your brain understands text, write about that. Express what your brain is doing, because your brain is interacting with the text just as much as it's interacting with a movie, with friends, with anything. Thanks for watching.